All right, hello everyone and welcome to week two ECAC Valorant action. We've got our Post Eagles coming up against the Central Maine Community College Mustangs tonight. Both teams at 1-0 on the season looking to get out to 2-0 starts. With me today is Nico Solo. Nico, how are you doing today? I am doing so good, thank you. How are you, Denny? I'm doing great. I'm doing fantastic. Ready to watch some good Valorant action today. Um, very, very excited. Uh, yes, slap. We did win last week. Uh, in the he's in the chat. <laughs> he's got. He, he'll hear my answer in three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, There's a bit of a delay on the stream. Oh, let me turn you up. You're probably very quiet. Can you talk again oh. for me? Yeah, I'll go closer to the mic if that helps. No, I just had the the meter way down. I think that should be better. Oh. Stream. Let okay, me know if if I'm either too quiet or too loud, or Nico's too quiet or too loud, or the game volume is too quiet or loud, please. Because <laughs> this is one of my first times streaming on this new setup. Awesome, awesome. But look at the map. Uh, look at the agent picks here. What do you think for the Eagles right here? I'm loving the Viper pick in the Sova, mm -hmm. but what do you think about Cypher, Denny? I have to ask you, you think Cypher, compared to Chamber now, is Cypher really the Sentinel you want to pick on Breeze? This is really interesting, actually, because uh, traditionally, Chris Rammers has been our Sova player. He plays Sova on Ascent um, and he knows like a lot of lineups there. Uh, I guess he's just not as familiar with the lineups on Breeze, Select so he's just going with Cypher here. Um, I and I actually don't think I've ever seen Johnny play Sova maybe one time. He's usually a duelist for us. Um, Ooh, that's a super interesting pick then. Yeah, so really interesting. They definitely must have talked about this beforehand because um, Meech, our, our captain, was really he was really fast on that draw, on the draw for Breeze. So they clearly had a plan here. Wow. Um, Johnny's probably been practicing the lineups on this, on this map. Whew. Well, but I we mean, right away, you know, looking at the um, looking at the Mustangs team cop now, we're going to see the Viper and Sova as well, but we're actually going to get an Astra and Sage pick here. And Denny, mm. the Sage wall. Do you think Sage can use her wall effectively on this map? There's not a lot of opportunity for um, an agent like Sage to shine on uh, to, to shine on Breeze. I think on A site you could potentially use use it effectively if you kind of block off that first area like at a diagonal, um, and then it gives you a little angle so you can get the plant down. Um, but yeah, there's not really. I don't know. If Sage is really a, a great pick on this map personally. I don't have too much experience. On this map, I, I, I probably have more experience spectating on this map than actually playing, personally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Breeze, I feel like, you know, it, it came out a while ago, but um, there's a lot of maps in the Valorant pool pick, mm -hmm. and sometimes it can just be hard to land the specific map you want, but it does look like Eagles are going to be starting off with an A push to start out the very first round of the series. Also, four ghosts. <laughs> It's a, it's a tactic. Ghost gang. I, I don't see it too often, but no classics to uh, start off today's series. Yeah, Meech pushing up through the Viper wall. Good uh, dart there from Johnny. He's going to reveal a couple as Eagle's already getting the plant down on A site. No kills just yet. Still a 5v5. Johnny getting tagged on the point. Is going to fall, but Meech trades one back. Cornflakes now on the point alone. Each watching the other angle. Trade kill again. It's a 3v3. John and Frosty watching for the flank. There's one by Meech. Ooh, I was running. Gets another. 15 health on Chris Rammers. They do get the defuse and they stick it in the smoke. A very close first round. As Frosty but, finds the final kill. Oh my goodness. Denny, look at this though. We can see Frosty is actually playing for lineups, which I really feel like is going to change the game for Eagles on attack here. Mm -hmm. You have Frosty pointed in the back with his Molotov ready to go. That's going to that's gonna completely change the attacking outcome. And I think if Frosty fired that Molly just a bit sooner, they, they, you know, they would have mm. won that round. Yeah, but he was these, just a tad late on lineups, it. They're going to change the rest <laughs> of this attacking half for the Eagles. Standing ahead. Looks like it's going to be a slow push towards mid, possibly looking towards B here. Ooh, Ashley going to grab one off the start here. 
Strammer's caught a glimpse of Mist, and Mist is going to take him down. And there's a third with the Spectre by Cluste. 5v2 now. All but in the bag for the Mustangs here, taking care of business on round two as the Eagles on a save here. Johnny, the last player standing. Can he find a kill or two? Oh, he does find Cluse. Wow, a team ace. You don't see that very often. Great job <laughs> from uh, Mustang. Oh my goodness, yeah. Each player getting a frag there. That can be quite a hard accomplishment. But Mustang's picking up a second round, you know, all respectively. They they, they should have been able to do that mm -hmm. with the uh, buy that they had. But now we're going to see Eagles coming back. We see some really, really strong buys out of them. Their alts are getting ready. But I really feel like Eagles, this is their time to shine. This is probably mm -hmm. the first round that they could win. Now with this buy, they have they have superior weaponry uh, to the Mustang. So I'm hoping that they're going to be able to win this next round. Yeah, Mustang's probably bonusing right now. Um... So this is really Eagles round to lose here. Drone coming out, trying to get some info on A site. Pushing up through the smoke. Ooh, missed with a nice shot. Gonna take out Meech to start things off. Eagles just sitting in all of this utility. Ooh, Johnny gets a nice kill with the. I think that's a, that was the shock dart. Conflicts can't find any last. Actually, just trade one back. It's a four v three now in favor of the Mustangs. Conflicts gets tagged through the wall. Still fifty seconds. They could still rotate to B if they wanted to. Conflicts going to heal up his allies here. It looks like they are going to rotate towards B. Right here. 30 seconds left. Oh, looks like it's, it was a fake rotate. Frosty heading back to A with this spike. As I was running, does get a kill on Johnny with the Spectre. 4v2 now. Ooh, when he was ready and waiting for the rotation. Eight seconds left to plant. Probably not going to happen, and Korn's just going to save his gun. And it's 3-0 Mustangs. Ooh, well, I think Mustangs put up a really good fight there on the A side, just being able to hold it. Eagles just try to push through, and even at the end, they're showing mm -hmm. some really, really big brain play. Faking going over towards B site and then going back to A. But Mustangs read that really, really well. And they were just able to play those corners, hit their shots. And they were able to pick up a third round, sending Eagles on a save. We yeah, and this is where you can start to Eagles see the down. snowball effect of the Valorant economy system. Because Eagles mm -hmm. on a save now, it's going to be quite difficult for them to win this round. And then looking at a 4-0 to start things off. But we'll see if Meech can find anybody with the marshal here. Still no one revealed from the Mustangs. Just playing things slowly here. Ooh, Mist does find one. It's taken down by Meech. And Meech gonna grab a Vandal for himself. Ashley with another one on Chris Emerson, two more. Another one on Johnny as well. It's 4v2 now. Rossi grabs one, but that's a third round the round for Ashley. Frosty in a 1v3 with only 45 health left. Can he clutch it out? 30 seconds left. They know where he is now. It's going to be quite difficult. Does manage to scoot around the corner. Only 17 health left. And Ashley's going to find his third, fourth kill of the round. Off to a great start. 8-2 and two 
for CMCC. <laughs> Ashley able to just push out through B main there and really take advantage of the fact that Eagles did not have the facilities mm -hmm. to deal with the Vandal and the 150 HP. And we can see Mustang's economy is in such a good spot there. And Eagles have a bit of an uphill battle to climb, if I'm going to be completely honest. Their econ mm -hmm. is not in a great spot. If they lose this round, they're going to have to go on another save with a potential another round lost. Yep. So Eagles are going to have to really pull it back. We see the Viper's Pit and also the Blade Storm is online for both teams. So that could be pretty round changing. But as of right now, it looks like Eagles is just going to go for somewhat of a default slash um, spike committed to A side. This round's so important here. Because like you just said, they lose this round. Easily looking at a 6-0 to start things off. Not where you want to be on map one. Enemy spotted A. Ooh, Ashley gets another kill on Chris Rammers here. Start off round five. Horn does find a kill on the Cluse, say. 4v4 now. Get out of my way. Whoa. He just dash right on out of there. Knives coming up. He has to reload those. Johnny and Ashley both get kills. A 3v3. A very close round. Spike does go down. And here comes the Viper ultimate. Oh, Meech. Great prediction. Going to find one. Going to find a second. And it's a 2v1 now. Cornflakes rotating around behind. And it's a 1v1 now. As Underdog grabs the kill. Oh, and he's going to oh. find the last one on Corn. Caught jumping with the knife. And uh, that is going to be enough time to get the defuse. And it's 5-0 now, CMCC. Oh my goodness. I really thought that Eagles was going to be able to take that round and finally put a uh, put a point on the board for themselves. But Underdog had completely different plans there. We saw the flank over from, I believe that was Cornflakes on the flank through two. Mm -hmm. And we had Meech on site. But um, Underdog had complete different plans for that round. Able to pull mm. off a really, really smart 1v2 clutch. But, you know, Eagles, unfortunately, did lose that round. But the only, I guess, um, win they had was that they burned the Viper's Pit and the Bladestorm. Mm. Mustangs don't have that online anymore. And they're going to have to grind those from the start. But Eagles have three very, very powerful ultimate abilities in their um, in their locker here. Chris Rammer's looking for some info here on A-Site. Miss going to find one with the op. Eagles got to watch out for that. 5v4 now after that pick. Johnny looking for a kill with the ultimate as Korn finds one. Korn finds two. Can't find a third, though. I was running. was ready for him. But Chris Rammer's going to trade him back his first kill of the map. Cage triggered. Finds the Silva, but can't find the kill. And there goes the Viper ultimate from Frost. He's going to get the plant down. Eagles now with control of A site. One enemy remaining. Ooh, a nice kill by Chris onto Underdog. And it's now a 1v3. And a third for the round, Chris. Coming out of the gate strong. His first kills of the map, and he's a threefer, and the Eagles on the board. <laughs> Chris was able to triple his kills in one <laughs> round there. Very, very nice job for him. Coming up on the board quite strong. You know, say you have a slow start to a game. Mentally, in Valorant, it can sometimes be really, really hard to come back from mm. that. But Chris is able to have a really, really nice round. So I'm going to hope that's going to be able to reset his mental. Yes, and now he's going to be able to, to truly shine in the remainder of this map. But it looks like Eagles is going to go for a super, super hard B push here. Very aggressive posturing here for the Eagles. Meech coming up with Dash through the smoke. Finds one with the Sova dart. That's underdog on the Astra. Each going to be hiding in the corner here. Oh, 
Frosty finds the kill on Underdog. Back of Sight is now available. Ashley gets one. 4v4. Spike goes down. Great darts coming out here from Johnny. Ashley gets another one on Meech. Miss gets a second, and just like that, everyone is dead. Great uh, retake there by CMCC. Mustangs able to kick it into high gear as they run in and retake site. I actually thought, you know, Eagles has us in the bag. They're going to be able to hold this site. But Mustangs only, only losing underdog in that situation. They're still able to retake. Super, super impressive from them. But now it does look like Eagles is going to go for somewhat of a save here. But Denny, I gotta ask you, what do you think? What do you think Eagles needs to do differently in order to um, change the way that they need to uh, push a site or attack it? I mean, I think their game plan is pretty pretty solid so far. I would say that maybe um, once they burn a lot of utility going up onto a site, to then just they don't have to continue pushing on that site. It's just gonna get a, two entry kills on Meech and Johnny. Like make it a oh. third with the classic miss popping off this round for CMCC. But I think they're just being a little bit too committed. Ooh, he gets the headshot, but can't find the kill. Oh, oh, no ace for you, my friend. Cornflake says, no thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, nice shot over from Cornflake No highlight here. reel play for you <laughs> this time, my friend. But it is going to be the round. <laughs> my <laughs> ace. Cornflake sending the guiding light through the site as well. Not able to do much off that. But really, really nice shot from Cornflake. We saw a bit of an awkward interaction with him on mm -hmm. his site, but he was able to redeem himself. Stealing Miss Ace. Uh, uh, Miss Ace. I will, I'm sure <laughs> Miss he's going to be uh, quite disappointed <laughs> about that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was saying, like, it's it just feels like they're being uh, a little stubborn with which site they're deciding to push. Uh, like, they will basically push up on a site. They'll, bl they'll get a lot of utility blown from the other team, and they'll just keep pushing. Like, a lot of the times, um, if you watch other teams, what they'll do is they'll, they'll come up on the site. They'll bait out a lot of utility from the defenders, and then they'll rotate off. Um, but Eagles not really seeming like they're doing that that often. They're really just kind of trying to, to push on through, just like we're seeing right now onto B site. We're also going to see the Seekers burned as well as Meech pushes into back site, clearing it all. And two players being picked, or uh, one player being picked yep, off. Yep, there's the a two for one. Ooh, at the res, and now it is going to be a 5v3. But Meech in a good position here. On the other side of this wall. I don't think they have any idea where he is. Great patience is going to take out Ashley. But they know where he is now. Ten bullets left in the gun. There's another. Has to reload, but Johnny bails him out. And there's the third of the round. Fantastic job by Meech on the jet. Whew, my goodness. Meech is able to just hold down a site right there. You know, we're talking about that um, eagle stubbornness might be their um, <laughs> downfall. But in that scenario, it was not as Meech was able to uh, have really, really good patience. And now we're actually going to see him on the operator. So eagles have a bit of a mountain to climb here as there is a five round deficit between them and Mustangs. But they could do it now with this momentum. I mean, any strat looks good when you hit your shots, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's exactly yeah. what happened that is, there. That is, uh, that is a good point. Oops. Finds the blind. Oop. Operator is going to miss the drone. Oh, nice blind there as it's a short op. Oh, and Chris finds missed, and that's the operator down. He gets two on the rotation with the cypher. Great job there, but Cornflakes is going to fall. Underdog grabs a kill as well, and it's a 3v3. Ooh, another one on a Meech in the Opera's down. That's pretty big for the Eagles, but Frosty and Johnny rotating over onto B site. It was all a ruse. But now, Denny, look at this. We can actually see the Viper's Pit is online for both teams here. So I do think Eagles is going to use this. Yep, and in a 2v3 situation, <laughs> normally, yeah, normally it's going to be really hard to win this round. But with that Viper's Pit, I think it's going to give Eagles mm. a really, really 
good chance of taking the round for themselves. And we can also see Johnny Fuego has one shock dart and recon bolt online right now. So Eagles have a huge shot of winning this round. Yeah, I like Johnny's positioning here because he's not actually in the Viper Ultimate. He's kind of on the outskirts. He'll be able to see when someone enters. Nice kill oh, there by uh, uh, Johnny on I Was Running. Ooh, does get tagged through the wall. Finds the Viper, does get one bullet in her, but she's not dead yet. Time is ticking. Last player standing. Ooh, and oh, Frosty now in a 1v2. Can he clutch it out? There's not enough time to defuse, and that's going to do it. Frosty grabs another kill. Not going to be able to uh, run away from the bond and bomb in time, but Frosty with a nice clutch there for the Eagles, and it's 7-3. Eagles there with that Viper's pick completely changing the game the round is playing Johnny Fuego's positioning as well really changed the tides but I would say the only con for the Eagles right there is Meech has lost the operator mm. and that is going to change the the amount of aggressive uh, the aggressive attacking style that Eagles could use so it's gonna change. It's gonna change there. We can actually see Meech is gonna go save with a uh, with I believe a I, Deagle. I think to the play save is for the operator. Th they're probably gonna push up and get an or an orb, and he's gonna go knives here. Yeah, I do think mm -hmm. the blade storm yep, is that's gonna exactly have to, what's uh, gonna happen. Knives come out. Oh, and that's the very early Viper's pit coming out from CMCC. Nice kill by Chris to start things off on the round. Ooh, nice shot by Meech with the knives. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's just so important to Jet's kit is you don't, you know, when you got those knives available, you don't have to buy on that round and you can still have a big impact. Mm -hmm. I do think, you know, the Bladestorm can either win or break some rounds. We've seen mm. plenty of players in the past able to use the Bladestorm to its full extent. And I think Meech, you know, fits in with that group, hitting a really nice shot there and showing the potential with the blade storm that he has. Chris does get picked off by Underdog though while he was watching for the flank, but it is still a 4v3. Gonna be quite difficult here for CMCC to retake B site. Wow, great flick there by Frosty. Gonna take down Mist. One enemy remaining. Each finds another with a nice, but Underdog trades him back. <laughs> and Meech finds the last kill of the round, his third of the round. Doing some work with those knives, and the Eagles showing a bit of life here. Now only down three. Damn, you know, Eagles is really looking to, to, to tie this one up here, you know. Having a bit of a slow start, it can sometimes hurt the half. But if Eagles make this a 5-7, mm. they, they, they could take the map for themselves. No, the, the two-round deficit, that's only two rounds. Eagles mm -hmm. can still bring it back, win it. And, 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 and take the very first map of this series. And this is looking really interesting now. I believe both teams are gonna have full buys. We do three. We do see three alts online and I'm looking forward to see the Hunter's Fury in play right now. Yep, Johnny looking for some, and Chris again on these flanks. Finds another kill on the Ashley, that's huge. And is gonna be able to reveal everyone with the Cypher ult, and they know that they have full control of A site now. Eagle's gonna push up. Watching this spot. Watching this spot. This is exactly where you want to be if you're the Eagles. You're nice kill by oh. Meech. Finds a second. One enemy remaining. Chris finds a third, and it's a 4v1, all but unwinnable now for uh, CMCC. Johnny finds the final kill, and the Eagles do, in fact, close out the half and cut the lead. To two, winning the last four rounds in a row. <laughs> Eagles able to to really, really, really bring it back in the uh, in the last half of the uh, their attacking side. But now on defense, we're gonna see the um, Eagle Cipher looking to set up on A. I'm looking forward to seeing these setups. You know, I have to ask you: You think one Sentinel or the the composition that Eagles have that that, that they have is enough for them to win these defending rounds? Um, I think it is, and I think it's because the duelist here has smokes, right? So you have a little kind of extra utility there from the duelist, which you wouldn't necessarily have um, with someone else. You know, the you've got the blinds from corn on the sky, and you've got the uh, viper smoke, and then 
also the smokes from Meech on Jet. So they do have a lot of options, even though they don't have the two Sentinels. But Corn starting things off with a kill already. Oh, but Frosty gets caught with the utility out. And Clouste finds another one onto Corn. It's a 4v3 now. Chris with the shorty. <laughs> that's not a good pick. I don't think that's a good weapon that you would really want for a retake situation here. Four v three Mustangs just hit uh they just hit a hold down sight. Um and they and they pick up the very first pistol of the uh attacking half for themselves. Ooh, Chris finds one though, and it's a three v three, very winnable. The Eagles, but they gotta go fast. Oh, Meech one finds another one and a second as well. Meech! He's gonna stick the diffuse. Oh no. It's not enough time. There's not enough time. Great job by it. Ashley there using the utility perfectly. Oh my goodness. Ashley mm. coming up clutch. You know, we talked about how post plant lineups can change the game. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, these teams did their homework. Ashley kind of changing the tides of that round completely. I really thought Eagles had that in the bag, but now they're gonna have to go on a save here as Mustangs. Once again, off this buy, they are in full right to win this, but we have seen the absolute fangs and talons the Eagles have <laughs> in order to bring it back. So let's see how this next round plays out. Yep, a full save for sure. Meech the only one without a classic ghost for himself. And it's going to be quite difficult for uh, the Eagles to take this round. Even if they just get a couple kills, though, that's still big in terms of the economy. Just need to prevent the flawless, really. Spike does get down on mid, or excuse me, on A. Mist finds a kill on Corn. Johnny trades one back, though. Nice kill with the classic. Blue State finds another one. Ryan grabs one, but Johnny grabs another. Putting in some work with this classic. Chris oh. finds another. Could we see a uh, thrifty here? Last player standing. 1v2 now. Johnny going to have to clutch this out. Can't quite find the shot. And I was running. Grabs three kills on the round for CMCC. And they take care of business. 9-5. to five, But the Eagles do grab three kills. Eyes up. You know, Eagle's able to do some damage, even even though CMCC won that buy round from them. You know, they, they, they made sure to buy off that win. They were able to win it, but they lost three weapons. So mm. Mustangs are going to have to go on some. I, you know, I feel like some players on their team are going to have to go on a save here. And Eagles, this is their time to bite back and make it 6-9. They have plenty of good players, a lot of good defenders on their team. So I really, really want to see them able to come back here off Cornflakes. Look at that aggressive guiding light into Elbow there. Yeah, I think this, if they're going to start the comeback, this is where it starts here. They have the weapons. They have the utility. They just need to hit their shots and play together as a team. Still no one showing here from Mustangs. Not leaving a lot of time for themselves. Closing in on 50 seconds now. Playing the long game here. Oh, somebody finally shows a long. He was doing a good job not giving them any information here. Chris finds one. Oh, what a beautiful dart. Going to reveal all of them through the smoke. And it's two kills already for the Eagles. Underdog trades one back, though. Frosty gets another, though. He's going to try to stick the, the, the diffuse. So he's just going to stick it. Hey, we stick those, and the Eagles take the round. One enemy remaining. We know what we're doing. Just before this game started, Denny, we were talking about Johnny Fuego and how he's just playing Silva. Maybe debut for the first time today. Mm. 
But I gotta tell you, that Dar is showing lots of potential potential for Johnny and how he could become a Soba main. But it actually looks like Sir Meech here has disconnected from the server. Uh-oh. Um, so oh, that yeah, might be that. a bit of an issue for this next round here. There we go. He's able to He's reconnect good. just He's in good. the okay. nick of time <laughs> before the game starts. <laughs> My goodness. That was a close one. We can always use a pause. Ah, I got a bit scared there. But, yeah. Ooh, it's going to be a big uh, A push here for CMCC. Chris and uh, Meech kind of in a rough spot here. A little bit surrounded, but Chris Rammers finds a kill. Meech finds another. Things looking good for the Eagles to start things off. I want to watch Corn here rotating around. Oh, Chris somehow finds another one. one enemy remaining. And Johnny finds the last two, and it's a flawless for the Eagles. That looked really sketchy at the start, but they turn it around, and the lead is now cut to two. Chris able to, uh, you know, being in a bit of a tricky situation there, he's able to capital capitalize on the fact that he has a specter and he needs to play close. Mm. All of the enemy Mustangs need to push him. So using his setup to his advantage, <laughs> using all of that util and just going right in their face with that specter, he's able to hold down a side all for himself. You, you can see here on the ma mini map, Eagles completely has Chris all by himself on a side because they're that confident with his ability to hold a site. So I don't think Mustangs are going to want to push him anytime soon as Meech hits a beautiful one on Mist. So one tap with the Vandal. And uh, I was running, though, one point off from the res. So this could be back to a 5v5 pretty soon if they grab an orb. Shot by Korn, going to pick up I was running. And no res this time. Oh, he gets another through the smoke. And still alive, and it's a 5v2 now for the Eagles. Who's they going to find Cornflakes, though? Mustang's looking to bring this one back. One enemy remaining. Not if Chris has anything to say about it, and the spike is down. The Owl Drone is going to go out mid, though, to try to see the enemy Sova Cluse Day. But I don't know if it's going to spot anything. I'm not exactly sure where Cluste is on the minimap right now. But he could be pushing up A. Trying to go for a bit of a flank. But this is going to be a bit of a like tall order. Left. Yeah, he's probably from... looking to just save. Oh, he does find oh. a kill on the Meech, though. Maybe spike not. But all the Eagles have to do is watch the spike here. And they'll take the round. But Frosty and there's really Frosty. He does up. find the final kill on a Cluste in the end. And now it's 9-8. to eight. Eagles. Winning uh, seven of the last nine rounds. Like us, My good Eagles. They're, they are able to catch up and really just change the game. Mm. But now look at Mustangs and look at those really four powerful ultimate abilities. The Sage Res, mm. maybe the, the, the biggest ult in the game, arguably, mm. could change the round. It's going to be a 5v6 almost. And Eagles are going to have a bit of an uphill battle to climb in this round. But the operator there on Meech could change the outcome. Yep, I want to see him hit a shot here. <laughs> oh, smoke is going <laughs> to delay that. The wall is going to the yep. wall is going to stop that. He's <laughs> going for a one through the smoke. <laughs> Might as well. Try to hit something. Sometimes the luck works out here, but you think oh, oh, Cornflakes corn gets the tap, like but can't find the kill. Do you think it's worth for Cornflakes to actually use the Seekers alt to try to see where Mustangs are pushing? Because I yep. do feel like Mustangs slow approach is putting, putting, you know, putting Eagles on their toes and making them really guess here. Yeah, I think he sh probably should have popped it there, but uh, it's a one for one trade so far. Johnny in a bad spot, though. Only 30 health remaining. Woo, barely dodging the shock dart. <laughs> they knew exactly where he was. Finally flush him out. It's a 4v3 now. 30 seconds left. They know where Chris is as well. You will not and there's the res. Now it's a 5v3 again. 
Ooh, but Leech finds one. Finds two with the oh. up. And they only got 10 seconds to plant. They better get it down soon. Cosmic Divide is down on B. Oh, and he prevents the plant! They got it! Frosty! Oh my, what a clutch! That was amazing from Frosty. He knew that they had to plant at that exact moment. He goes through the Cosmic Divide and gets the planter. Amazing presence of mind there from Frosty. And we're all tied up at 9. Frosty able to, honestly, MVP of the round. Mm. Frosty MVP of the round, that one. He was able to completely change the outcome, stopping the plant just in the nick of time. Uh, just peeking through the uh, the Astral right there and showing a lot of potential. Now it's all tied up, and Mustangs looking like their economy is not in the healthiest spot there, so mm. we might see a save out of them. I mean, that's, that's what happens when you take so long, you know, pushing up on a site. You uh, don't give yourself a lot of a lot of time, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, kind of the reverse of what the Eagles were doing earlier, where they were kind of pushing up a little bit too quickly. And running straight through all the utility. Oh, Meech! Oh, he waited for the plant sound and then just fires default. Finds the second and Johnny with another one. Corn now rotating around. It's a 2v2, very winnable for either team. One oh, and Corn with the flake finds him, and the Eagles take the lead. 10 to 9. Eagles, they are on the run here, and they are not looking to be stopped by any member of Mustang. Oh my gosh, Corn on the flank. It all is just coming together perfectly. How many alts? Or how many rounds have Corn had his um his seekers and he hasn't had to use them yet because he mm -hmm. doesn't need them. <laughs> Going on the flank there and changing the tides. We can see Meech dropping 24 and 15. Or 24 and 13, my apologies, Donkey on the leaderboard, really, really using that jet and duelist mentality to his um to his uh his ability to frag. Way. Absolutely. Um You know, knives coming out for Mist is going to find a kill on Cornflakes to start off this round, though. And things looking good here for CMCC in round 20. Right here. Still a 5v4. No one else showing. Mist finds another one with the knives. Oh, but Meech oh, going to silence them. But gets traded back by Ashley, and it's now a 4v2. Chris Rammers and Frosty, the two remaining players for the Eagles. Can they clutch it out? Chris Looks doing like a good Chris job watching A. In, so. Oh. Oh, he was caught with the utility out. Couldn't quite find the kill. And Frosty now in a 1v4. Does he save or does he go for this one? You know what? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a guess, Danny. I think he should go for it. You know, their economy is in a mm -hmm. really, really good spot here. Yeah. Try to pick up a couple frags and and mm -hmm. damage Mustang's economy. Their economy is mm -hmm. not on the same level as Eagles. Take away the ability for Eagles to buy. Yeah. But Ashley's wow. gonna swing out and get really two nice headshots. And a thrifty Mustangs for the Mustangs, and we're all tied up at up, ten. Uh, Great job They're from them. To, uh, uh, getting uh, some kills, though. picking up some weapons for themselves. And securing that thrifty round. Thanks. Frosty, it's going to be a judge for my man on round 21. Mm, I do think Frosty is going to actually opt to use the Viper's Pit here mm -hmm. on a site. Completely eliminate. Yeah, we can see him pulling it out right away. He's going to completely eliminate um, pushing a site for Mustang. Mm -hmm. So they're going to have two choices here. It's going to be push mid or push B. And the Viper's Wall has already been committed uh, just as the Viper's Pit is popped and now mustangs are gonna have to ask themselves do we want to continue to push a or do we go over to b viper's pit with a judge is just absolutely horrifying like you do not want to walk in there <laughs> it cannot be judge. Beat. looks like they're not pushing a though line doesn't find anyone it's like they're just waiting it out. Underdog just find a kill on corn though. 5v3. Every single kill is so important now in these final rounds. Chris.
Chris hears them coming up. Playing it slow yet again. Could we see another situation where they take too long? That might be the case here, as Chris is actually going to decide to take the aggressive and swing left. out through elbow, leaving B side all by itself. And Spike's going to be pushed down B here, Frosty in the Viper's pit, so potential to do some damage with the judge as well. Last player standing. Oof, now in a full 1v5 clutch situation. Gonna be very difficult for Frosty. Judge not as terrifying anymore when it's 5v1. <laughs> and looks like Frosty's gonna actually have to leave the alt here, being completely exposed to every angle possible. Picking up one frag here is gonna be a bit of a difficulty. Spikes down in the opposite corner as Frosty's just gonna go around and Ryan's try going. to pick off one. He's able to do it. Maybe grab Ryan's a phantom. a phantom for himself. He's gotta start defusing soon though, and it's not gonna happen. Fuste finishes off another team ace, the second one of the map for CMCC. And it's 11-10 as the lead shifts yet again to the Mustangs. Eagles losing two in a row. I don't want to let the momentum for them slide here. They need to bring it back, reconvene with one another, go on a bit of a save. We can see Meech has the Bladestorm mm -hmm. online, so I think he's going to be opting to pop it this round. But Mustangs, they need to, or um, Eagles, they need to bring it back, and they can't give all this momentum away to Mustangs. Not mm. now, not this late in the game. Yeah, it's, such, it's been such a great comeback so far. Corn finds one to start things off with the Spectre. It's Chris watching A site, and it looks like CMCC going to take things slowly again after losing a member. I was running still three points away from the ultimate. Probably not going to see a res this round. All drone. Ooh, does find them. So they have a decent idea where they are now. Ooh, Frosty. Yeah, Corn knows he's not going to get a kill from that range with the Spectre. Ooh, Meech with only four health left. Still has the knives out, though. Healing over here. Gonna get some healing. <sighs> Still a 5v4. Ooh, Korn does find the blind. Doesn't decide to push up though. 30 seconds left. CMCC being very slow again. Only 30 seconds left to plant. Chris just barely catches a glimpse there of I was running. 15 seconds now. Johnny finds another one. Gets a second. And that's likely going to be the round. And the spike is down. Five seconds. They got to plant now, and they're not going to be able to do it. Chris Rammers finds another kill. And that's going to be the round. We're tied about 11 now. These teams so closely matched. CMCC Mustangs, you know, they've shown a lot of potential and their ability to sometimes play it really slow is winning them rounds. But other times when Eagles are, you know, becoming accustomed to that and auto-correcting to the Mustang style, it's not doing the Mustangs any favor. Mm. So CMCC, I think, needs to honestly do a round where they absolutely gun it, five, like just fill up into the site, and I think that's going to win them a round. But right now, Eagles is cashing up, and it's just a tug-of-war between the two teams right here. Mm -hmm. Two rounds is all that is needed to finally, you know, get get a point on the board and, and sum up this map. Good jiggle piece. Peek there from Miss is not going to get taken down by Meech just yet. Op v. Op duel? I think Mist has an op for himself <laughs> as well. Jet v. Jet. Op v. Op. Uh, I, I would like to see this. I'm not going to lie to you. The <laughs> Aljones not even going to scan Meech out anyway, so he can just still remain on site there. But do you think a poof we'll is going to peek right Blue into Stay. the operator? Yep. That's a great start for the Eagles. But yeah, I think CMCC, if they just bum rush the site immediately, it'll really, I think, probably throw the Eagles off their game because they've been playing so slowly every round so far. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, Eagles' ability to to recorrect their play style to fit another team is, you know, I, you know, watching them for the first time, I'm absolutely amazed with their ability to do that. But now it does look like 
Mustangs is going to rush onto A side here as it's just down to Cord Flakes for right now. He does have the Seeker as well, but uh, it's going to be offline now that he is no longer alive in this round. 4v2 now. Johnny and Meech, the two players left available for the Eagles, and the Viper Pit is going to go down. going to make it very difficult to retake this site. He's just barely missing that shot. Johnny here's the played draft. it really dangerous there. Finds one and Mish finds two. Johnny finds another. It's suddenly winnable. 2v1. They've got to get in there for the defuse soon, though. And Meech oh finds it! Gosh. And there it is! What an insane clutch from Meech and Johnny. Unreal. Does he have time for the defuse? It's gonna be close. Yes, he does. And it's 12-11 Eagles as they take the lead again. My goodness, Eagles! Oh, they are absolutely scary <laughs> now, winning that round. Able to pull off a retake that, you know, I really didn't think mm. they were going to be able to do. The odds were not in their favor in any sort of matter. Mm -mm. But they're able to pull it back, and now they're on match point. Yes, what sir. that does Meech to Mustang's Johnny mentality just, is just go down. Meech and Johnny just playing out of their minds right now, and that was such a huge round. And like you just said, too, mentally for... CMCC, that's really tough. You think you've got the round in the bag. You're up four to two, and then all of a sudden you just get 4K'd by two players in the Viper Ultimate. It's just is really, really hard to come back from that mentally. Johnny fishing with Hunter's Fury here. Can he find anything? He cannot. But Frosty finds one. To start off this potentially map winning round for the Eagles. There's another one for Cornflakes. Chris on the hunt. And Frosty finds one, but he gets traded back. And there's one for Eden Meech. It's a 4v1. Oh, he almost got that last shot with the op as well. Oop, gets blinded by his teammate. Unfortunate. <laughs> and Cornflakes finds it, and the Eagles complete the comeback. 13-11. What a map. Eagles. Oh mm. my gosh, Daddy, they were able to bring it back. You know, originally it was 7-2. Mm. We were looking at a 7-2 lead here in favor of Mustang. But Eagles bringing it back, playing it so strong there. And we can see Meech almost dropping 30 Oof. frags. Oof. Really, really impressive from the Eagles. And now heading into the second map, Mustangs, it is a must win. If they lose this map, it's over. So I do believe mm -hmm. we might take it to a break here, right, Danny? Yep, we're going to take a few minutes break, so hang with us, everybody. But Meech, there is a reason he was knighted. 327 combat score, 29-15-3 <laughs> and three on the KDA line. Fantastic performance from him. Um, and also, shout-out to Chris Rammers on the Cypher, getting off to a really slow start, but then pulling it back in the end. Kind of similar to the whole team when you think about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, each player, you know, had a bit of a slow start. I'd say have a, had a bit of a rough slow start, but they're able to just bring it back and play so efficiently. That retake with Sir Beach and Johnny Fuego. That, the stuff like, of legends I, right there. That's what legends are made of right there. <laughs> they had a Viper's Pit. Mustangs had a Viper's Pit they as well. They had the Viper's Pit. They had, four pl they had everything they needed to win that round. And Meech and Johnny were just like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Not your day today. Nah. Not your day today. That was nuts. Else. Yeah, that's definitely going on the TikTok. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're going to take a couple minutes break. We'll be right back with map two, which is going to be bind. Don't go anywhere. Ooh, awesome. Good first map. Good first map. That was insane. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Really? Oh my goodness gracious. Are you are you are you still good to do play by play on bind? Okay, I'll, um Um is there any way you could go uh, over to observers just so we could see where CMCC is because I feel like it would really enhance the uh, like the experience if we could also see like the players or like the association. Oh, really? That's really unfortunate. Mm -hmm.
Mm -hmm. That's really sad. That is really wow. I can't believe people do that. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, true, true. Okay, awesome. All right, we're back, everyone, and uh, Eagles are up one to zero. I actually need to change the match score. I forgot to do that. <laughs> Understandable. Uh, it happens. It oh, happens. There we go. Eagles up one to zero after a very close map one uh, on Breeze, 13 to 11. Now heading to Bind. What do you think of the team comp so far from the Eagles, Nico? Well, we can see Sir Meech here actually switching it up from a jet to a chamber. And we can actually see so many different, besides Frosty, I think every single person has played in a different agent. Jeff Johnny Fuego originally playing a uh, initiator, but mm -hmm. now going for the duelist pick. Reyna and Sova are completely, completely different agents. These mm -hmm. are not played the same at all. So, yeah, I mean this I is this is Johnny's Reina wheelhouse Reina. right here. Like Reina is his main. Like he loves Reina. Um that's his really this is go to for rank, this is go to for scrims. He just loves the, the the agent. And uh Chris Rammers too as well. He has been doing a lot of uh homework learning the setups and the lineups for Sova on Ascent and Bind. And um Meech also recently picked up Chamber and he really likes it. Um, so I'm interested to see how that works out. He did play it last week, I believe, on, also on Bind. Um, he loves grabbing the op on uh, Chamber. <laughs> it's really good because you can, um, because you can teleport back to your card instantly after taking that shot. It's kind of similar to Jet, how she can dash away. Um, yeah. And Cornflakes recently picking up the Astra. Interested to see how he performs on this agent. He's traditionally been an omen one trick, uh, so but he has been branching out recently. So really, mm -hmm. see well, how we this just plays saw out. cornflakes on uh, sky, right? Mm -hmm. So he was able to do quite well, in, uh, pushing up as well on those flanks. You know, flanking as Astra that might not be something that a lot of players like to do, as I like to play with the team a lot of the time. But you know, I'm looking forward to seeing this. I'm really liking Eagles team composition here. We're gonna see a Viper Help. and an Astra. So. Their ability to uh, to you know play defensively and offensively is going to be really really strong. Heading into the first round, Eagles is going to be looking to attack B site. Three ghosts for them as well. Corn, Chris, and Johnny all popping with the ghosts. Johnny traditionally been a heavy hitter on these pistol rounds with Reyna. Does get tagged through the wall though. Is just gonna take the teleporter away from that nade. Don't blame him. Needs to hustle back to rotate to his team now, though. Corn doing a good job checking his angles. I love actually gets a kill to start things off here on pistol. Meech trades one back. Corn pushing up aggressively on this Astra. Finds kill on underdog. And it's a 4v3 now. Frosty going to get the plant down. Johnny finds another. And he's overhealed now. 150 health. Going to be a difficult retake, but two players tagged. Meech and Frosty very low on health. Oh, yeah. Well, now look at this. It looks like actually all of the Eagles players Johnny. are very low here besides Johnny. So, you know. Yeah, all three very low on health. <laughs> That's a good point. Sage, the Mustang Sage could maybe do some damage here, but Johnny's gonna shut that 
down immediately. Besides all the players being so low in HP, they're able to um, to pull together and win the very first pistol round. So, I gotta ask you, Denny, do you think Post Eagles is gonna go for a bit of a buy here? I'm assuming so, now that they've won the round. It looks like it, yeah, they're themselves. definitely gonna force up. Johnny and Corn are already buying the Spectres for themselves. Um, a Guardian? Oh my gosh. But yeah, I, I really like what they did at the end of the round there. They knew that Johnny was the only one left with uh, who actually had some HP. So they had him take point and just walk up and basically face check. Uh, I was running, he was the last player alive for uh, CMCC. He didn't want to take any chances and just let him find the last kill. Ooh. But Ashley finds one with the Spectre to start things off here on round two. Ooh, and missed with the Judge. Going to take out Johnny immediately. In the smoke. Corn finds one, though, but running trades him back, and it's a 4v2 in favor of CMCC. Missed another the, the, the one with judge, the judge. Danny, the judge. The judge and a third oh. on the round. My goodness. You know, I got to be honest with you. I didn't think CMCC was going to go for a buy there. But they ended up doing it. Misty hitting the tea bag. My goodness, the judge. You know, I, I really. Did you think Mustangs was going to buy in that scenario? I really didn't think they were going to. Uh, yeah, that was a little surprising, uh, to be honest. Um, but yeah, Eagle's on a save now. It looks like Johnny going to be running with a frenzy. Full classics otherwise. And it's one to one. <laughs> little trash talk going on. <laughs> yeah, you know, it happens with video games. You're, you're going to run into a lot of that. It's just part of the Valorant space if we're going to be completely honest here. Mm. Johnny actually gonna push that while he's vulnerable and it's not gonna matter. Yep, he finds that. He takes those. 4v3 now in favor of the Eagles as they're pushing up onto B site. Chris has a decent idea where they are. Meech finds missed. No judge kills for you this round, my friend. <laughs> not today. And spike goes down, 4v2 for the Eagles. A very tough retake now for CMCC. One enemy remaining. Meech with his oh, third of the Meech. round. And you have uh, <laughs> unlocked the Meech. Meech putting some more BM in the chat as well. Mm. You know, a lot of play recently in the VCT, completely, completely different league and organization from what we're looking at today. But, you you know, you're putting some star players who used to play duelists mainly. Like, as an example, let's take Wardell. Mm -hmm. Always played Jet, and he was a star. He was an absolute star with the operator. Mm -hmm. But you put a strong Jet player on a very conservative and smart, play, uh, smart agent, such as Chamber, mm -hmm. that's going to really change the way they play. But... The, the aim, the, the, the pure mechanics of aim and the uh, rendezvous as well, mm -hmm. it's just gonna it's 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 just gonna work. And for Meech, it's working really well. Able to get a nice three or even four K that last round, I believe. I think it was just three, but yeah, Meech doing really well for himself. Um Maybe he just needs to get a little angry. Maybe that's his key to, to Meech's performance. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, you know, maybe the Mustangs made a mistake there talking trash on Meech. <laughs> They've uh, unlocked Meech's final form. Yeah, he's, he's going to use his real IRL ult now, which is being good at Valorant, which he already was. So. <laughs> nice entry kill by Johnny. Oh, but Kluse peeks around quickly and finds the kill, and it's a 4v4 now. Drog finds another one, and Kluse with another. Now it's going to be a 2v4. It's, going to, it's all yeah, just going to be down to Yeah, and 36 here. health. This is going to be very difficult. And Miss does find him in the end. And it's going to be evened up 2-2. Two to two. Economy looking pretty even from both sides. Mm -hmm. You know, this could be anyone's game at this point. We're super early in it. Only four out of, you know, like 26, 30 rounds, yeah. however long this game could go. <laughs> But this yeah. is once again Tra a tug strap of war in everyone. Teams. We're in for a long one today. <laughs> yeah, we're in for a we're in for a 18 20 overtime <laughs> right here. I think this could go Oof, man. very very long. I don't have long. enough water Hopefully in my water bottle like for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should have mm. filled up the water bottle. I should have filled one. it up. That was on me. <laughs> <laughs> but now look at this. It does look like Eagles is just gonna go for 
Another default, the the Viper, the um, Frosty, committing Spike to A here, but we are going to see the Tour de Force, I'm hoping I pronounced that right, coming out mm -hmm. from Meech. So let's see how this goes. Oh, there's oh. one. Stealing sight. Chris Rammer's pushing up on the A site with corn now, though. It's Meech watching for flanks. Here comes the Roomba. Can't find them. Eagle's playing, taking a page out of CMCC's book here, playing things a little slowly. Just looking Maybe to gather some intel. Here. We find another pick. Finally, the Bi Viper wall goes down on A site. Oh, oh he gets caught with the utility out, and Kaluste takes him down. I was running, grabs another one, but Corn trades one back. And it's a 3v2, but the Viper ultimate and the spike has been planted on A. And I think this is all the Eagles wanted. They just wanted to distract them on B site for the real attack on A site. Mm -hmm. And look at this, Denny. Cornflakes actually has some astral utility that could be in play here to delay the spike being planted as well. Mm -hmm. But pushing Frosty's Viper ult and Molly's is going to be a big challenge in itself. Mm -hmm. So I'm really thinking Eagles actually win this round. It's a 1v3 situation. Frosty is going with this. He's actually going to put a Molly. Mm -hmm. And look at that. He's yep. able to pick up two. And I there really think is. Eagles has this one in the bag. Yep. Not enough time to defuse, and that's going to do it. Uh-oh. Didn't get away in time. Oh, oh it's going to find not him. not going to. Unfortunate. Ooh, and Meech oh. disconnected and reconnected again. Hopefully Meech he's not having any some, lag uh, issues. Wi-Fi issues there. I think he's mm -hmm. going to have to call Shaw or... um. <laughs> Another Wi-Fi cellular service uh, to um, pick up on that one. Looking at the mini-map here, I see a big red dot just in the uh, attacking side spawn here. I don't know if that shows up on stream. Do you see that? What, yeah, I do. What is that? <laughs> what? I don't. What I don't know that? what that is, but um, <laughs> I don't That's know if stream odd. can see that or not. I don't know if chat can see that, but basically at the bottom <laughs> of the map, there's just a red. Unnecessary dot there that really does <laughs> nothing very unnecessary. more to uh, indicate the map. <laughs> Ooh, two for Al oh. actually coming out strong here. Make it a three. three. And things are going to be quite difficult for the Eagles here in a 5v2 now. Ooh, Johnny with a nice wall bang there on Miss, though. Has Empress available as well. If he wants to go, the Eagles want to go for another 4v2 clutch. There's more red dots on the map, my dude. I don't know what is happening. there's more. <laughs> it's got to be some kind of bug. <laughs> Maybe some sure kind of exactly bug with the Astra. Mean. No, it's not Astra's uh, utility. No, there would I'm be a red sure. dot right there. Oh, oh, great shot by I was running. Finds Johnny. And Frosty in a 1v4. Oh, and he's slowed, and that's going to do it. We're all tied up at three. These teams just going back and forth. Yeah, it is a tug of war trading punch for punch there. And, you know, Mustang's only losing one player there. Really, really well played for them. But now, the, the you know, the econ is almost completely even. I think both teams might, you know, have to go on a bit of a save here. But... I love Ashley at, you know, almost 200 ping at one point there. But I do think both teams are going to have to go on a save. And whoever wins this could potentially pick up the next couple rounds. So wow. this, yeah, you know, even you though it's a save it. round, it's a crucial, crucial round. And both teams need to absolutely try their best to win it. Wow, now that you mention it, Ashley's ping is going all over the place. Went under 100, then now it was up to 200, over 200. That could definitely play a factor here for sure. And the red dot. Still. <laughs> the I don't know, I don't the know red know dot is still is. there as well. My, I'm going to have to hire Sherlock for this one. <laughs> yeah, that is very odd. It's never happened before. <laughs> CMCC not giving the Eagles any information so far. Toxins go. 
Luste finds one again. This is uh, Team CC's round to lose here. Seagull's on a plant on a save rather. I think it's like where the it's where the CMC members are spotted. Maybe? Becomes a red dot on the map for the round. Potentially, but that doesn't explain the one. It doesn't explain the one on the south side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't explain the very first appearance. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice <laughs> oh, job by Johnny. Cool. Actually, an finding Astra, Astra in the uh, what's that called when she's doing the utility? I believe it's called. I think it's called astral form. But astral form. Like, that's I, right. I could be wrong. I think it might just be called meditating. I don't know like mm. what it is called. Oh yeah, I think it's the look. The red. They're, they're traveling on the map. The red dot. Yeah. It's, what is happening? I Denny? think it's it's probably a spectator bug for from yeah. the coach's side, like uh, when some member from the other team is revealed instead of it showing their uh, little picture of their agent, it actually shows just a red dot. <laughs> <laughs> So that's really weird. <laughs> yeah, but look at that. I do, but you know, this is going to be a bit of a tricky route. Again, both teams can actually go for a bye mm -hmm. as both teams saved last round. Yep. So I'm looking forward to seeing this right now. Johnny doing really well in the rain. I believe he was seven and five right yep. there. The Owl Drone also going to clear out Hookah. Eagles looking for a bit of a B push. This is the round that. Uh... Round is winnable for the Eagles with the firepower even up now. Nice start. It's going to find one. Uh, Frosty grabs one kill, and Johnny with another wall bank. Mistrades one back, though, and it's a 5v3. But Meech grabs another on this chamber. Frosty, so important here, rotating around. Oh, but now it's a 4v1. Almost unwinnable, and there it is. Johnny finds the final kill. And the Eagles do, in fact, even things up 4-4. Four to four. We're just going back and forth this map. Oh, my goodness. I was running GG. Attempted to go for a really, really smart flank there through the teleporter. But, you know, going through that TP, it's going to make so mm -hmm. much noise. Completely revealing his location, and Eagles are going to capitalize on that, making it a 4-4 four to four round. But look at the look at the econ for the Mustangs. Even though they lost mm -hmm. that round, Kluse is sitting at almost max money here, which is nine k. Mm -hmm. Everyone is in a healthy spot economically, I believe. Besides, I love Ashley. So this once again could be anyone's round. It's just gonna, it's just going to be a tug of war the whole time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I do like that the Eagles are not falling behind early this time, um, mm -hmm. because that was really oh missed with a big what flank a and a takedown flank. too. Instantly. Nice flake there from the Reina player. Johnny trades one back, though. Chris does find Ashley as well, and now a 3v3. Bomb is going to go down on B-site. Oh, the but Johnny gets two more! Johnny popping off on this Reina. Oh, is reloading though, and I was running, takes him down. 1v2 now. I was running in a clutch situation. See if he can pull it off. You will not oh, and there's a it rest on like miss. Hit the it's 2v2, but he gets traded back, and Frosty oh. was in perfect position to get that kill. And the Sage ult is wasted. Frosty grabs two, and the Eagles take the lead 5-4. to four. Eagles now... You know, once again, just p gassing out and pulling it through. Not using, you know, a lot of the, the big alts that you would use to win some rounds. The Viper's Pit is still going to be online. Hunter's Fury, you know, you plant the spike, your soul vault runs back through long. That Hunter's mm. Fury is winning you rounds in the post plant. Mm -hmm. Eagles, not even needing to use them. But look at this, CMCC Mustangs, their econ still in a very, very good spot. As I do think we're going to see some Phantoms and Vandals from them again unless misty decides to use the judge yeah this is definitely going to be a much more even uh definitely an even round as far as firepower is concerned but like you were just saying four ultimates available for the eagles including that hunter's fury so vital in these post plant situations let's see if the eagles can actually take control of a site and get into that situation in the first place cosmic divides goes down i was running gets a kill to start things off 
for CMCC. But Frosty gonna get the plant down. Oh, and Mist comes around and takes down two again. Oh. And this man is unstoppable. Four kills on the round on this Reyna. Oh my goodness, and Mist is showing five. some really good powers. 14 and 6, Jenny. That is a super strong KD. 10 mm. rounds into the match. And once again, Meech disconnecting. I do think, you know, I would have to call a new Wi-Fi service for this guy, <laughs> if I'm being completely I mean, as long as he comes right back, now. that's what's important. And as long as it doesn't happen in the middle of a round. But yeah, it is very uh, disconcerting that it's happening pretty regularly now. Um, but we're all, Ashley's ping. <laughs> but we're all evened up at 5. Yeah, and Ashley's ping is going all over the place my lord what is going on with the internet tonight <laughs> i'm having casters chris as soon as i For pick real. out as soon as i point out someone's ping it goes i mean that happens all the time i'll be like yeah. my ping so bad it'll go right back down <laughs> yeah. to 15. everyone will, what do you mean what are you talking about bro oh <laughs> my gosh eagles pushing a here and the uh the wall is gonna be uh, in use as well oh and this oh. takes down the opposing Reyna, but two kills traded back now, a 4v3. And uh, Mist, importing, importantly enough, also has been taken down the uh, top fragger for CMCC. So the round very winnable now here for the Eagles. But Underdog going to find his second kill of the map. Cornflake ready and waiting for Cluse to round that bend, and it's a 3v2 now. Frosty going to try to get the plant down. Does get shot through the wall. Cornflakes trades one back. Well, Ashley gets another one, and it's a 1v1 now. Cornflakes with 32 health remaining. Can he find the clutch? He does have lots of utility at his disposal here, but Cornflakes just needs to identify where the opposing Astra is. Mm -hmm. There are lots and lots of smokes <laughs> on this site right now. So what I'm thinking... Oh, beautiful it stuff! And Korn finds the last kill. Can't. It's not going to have enough time to get the plant money, last but it's 6-5, and Eagles take the lead again. Great oh, clutch man. there from Korn at the end of the Astra v. Astra duel. Poor Cornflakes. 30 HP, mm. and he's able to pull it off. I, I, you know, I honestly fully thought there that CMCC's Mustang's Astra was just gonna be in one of those smokes, but he walks out of showers, walks right into Cornflakes's um, crosshair, and it's just a nice, easy, crisp one shot for him. Post Eagles looking to pick up a seventh round now. Shout out to Mrs. Cornflakes in the chat. <laughs> Uh, definitely deserves his giant salt lamp now. Yeah, that's a weird <laughs> joke on the team. Uh, he likes to lick his salt lamp. Um, so we make fun of him for it. <laughs> that's it. That's the joke. <laughs> nice kill by Chris to start things off here. On round 12. And it looks like the call is to rotate off of B-Site. So each watching for any flanks. That's something we see a lot from Chambers uh, mates. I think you know Chambers. Mm -hmm. You know they like to uh, they like to play off the site. They have that TP that could maybe get them mm -hmm. to the other site. But Eagles is going to fill up their bodies through a site, and it looks like that is theirs. Ooh, nice blind. Uh, and I was running gets a kill on Cornflakes. A four v four now. Their dog finds another. CMCC. Ooh, Frosty, oh. nice job getting out. The gun is in the exact right timing to find that kill. Ooh, finds the headshot, but can't find the kill. Chris Rammers finishes the job. Ooh, Kluste gonna find one, though. Meech gets another. It's a 2v1. And Johnny's just gonna pepper the spike with his ultimate and buy some time. And pretty soon, 1v1. And that's not, that's gonna do it. Not enough time to defuse. <laughs> cool guys don't look at explosions and Meech gonna pytail it out of there. 7-5 Eagles. <laughs> My gosh, Meech there making sure to a um... <laughs> you know, I don't know what, I don't know, I, I, maybe the idea there was try to spot out I was running and pick up another frag to um, just him to buff that T, buff the amount of frags that he has this game. But <laughs> he's played it quite close there and look at this. Actually looks like um actually looks like Meech is gonna be setting up a lot of utility on the A site, 
But he's going to put a TP right there, which is going to allow him to go right over to A-Site as he perfectly demonstrates for us right now. <laughs> I think it was just an alpha move. He just wanted to let them know that he yeah, didn't care. You know, <laughs> it's being streamed. Sometimes you just got to send a message. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got he's to let him know he's boss yeah. somehow. Oh, look at that. And now the, the red dot's on the top side of the map. You see oh. that? We're starting to solve this mystery, Denny. <laughs> well, maybe we'll solve it at some point <laughs> at the end of the match. Oh, nice job by Meech. Finds one in the pistol round. Remember, we're at the half here. Economy's reset. Sides have swapped. Johnny can't oh. find any damage on the Astra. Ooh, Chris Rammer's going to find that one, though. Ooh. Trey's back a kill on Mist as well. Teamwork's so important on these pistol rounds. Horn gets another one. <laughs> Meech with the stare down. 14 health on Chris. Very, uh, very, very winnable here for the Eagles. It's going to take a miracle for CMC to pull this one off. And uh, looking like it's going to be 8-5 to five here. And looking very good. For the Eagles to run away with this one. They also have the spike. Ooh, I was running. Does get a kill on Corflex. Maybe I spoke too soon. But look at this, Denny. Two of the players on Eagles are so low right now. Mm, so I was running has that heal. He can heal himself up and Spike's actually going to go down. But two players really, really low oh. right now. Oh. That's not yeah, but matter, all he though. had to do is wait till... Uh... All he had to do was wait until uh, Frosty was in position there to help him out from the other angle, and they knew they had that round in the bag. And it's eight, five Eagles, winning three, uh, excuse me, five of the last six rounds. Eagles sort of running away with it here, you know. I think um, mm. now that Mustangs, you know, they have the opportunity to, to go for a buy, but Eagles, they're going to want to play it close with these Spectres. Just run, running on Spectre. You know, it's still the meta. The Spectre was nerfed, but you can still use it. And we can see five Spectres on the board here for Eagles. So I'm going to look forward. They know that every round is important at this point as they're up yeah. three. Still winnable for CMCC, but... Oh, and Corflex gets spots him out, but he's got to run now. He's very low. Oh, he can't quite escape the shots from Mist. Cornflakes there running into some really unfortunate mm -hmm. timing. Yeah. It was a good idea. Just, uh, yeah, bad bad timing, bad luck there, like you're saying. Chris waiting in the smoke here. Oh, Meech can't oh. quite find the uh, the kill there as I was running, takes him down. Oh, nice shot by Mist onto Chris. And this is looking very good for CMC to see to pick up this round. Does look like Johnny's actually gonna get really tagged up there, dropping to 49 HP. Ooh, but he gets a kill. That's so important. Now he's able to heal himself up. Last player standing. Now he's got to watch out for Ashley. Oof. Oh, thank you, one though. Shot. What a flick! Finds another one. Gets the third. Oh. Johnny, are you serious? And that's gonna do it. He can stick the defuse. Johnny. Oh my wow. gosh, Chef Johnny, Johnny Fuego. <laughs> Denny, oh my. how did he pull that one out of his mm. pocket right there? I don't know his pocket mm. was big enough to fit a mm. huge 3v1 clutch in there, mm. but he's able to do it. And now Eagles are running away with it. The clutch energizing the whole team mentality. <laughs> Mustangs, they need to pull it together. I think this is pick up a couple rounds. We're, we're seeing a little bit of deja vu here. Remember the uh, 4v2 retake? Oh Johnny yeah, yeah, the unbelievable plays from Eagles. And it just it, it you could tell it just kind of killed the mental for CMCC. I think that round just did it for this because they they thought they had that round in the bag and then Johnny just said, "Nah. <laughs> I'm just I'm just going to come and frag <laughs> Not you." Today, homie. Yeah. Not today at all. Mm -mm. But um where do you think where do you think um Mustangs are going to try to push here? Now you know their mentals on the low. They might be on somewhat of a safe. I don't know, we'll, but we'll probably have about a minute to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have it. Well, you know, I think we'll be given. You know, <laughs> they're they're gonna start to actually run under the site four seconds left into the yeah, round. Right. <laughs> but you know, this is this is this is textbook textbook plays from CMCC. They, they just play it slow. But wow, the uh, the chamber Chris. utility making sure to be in use there.
Looks like it is going to be an A push. Frosty with the shorty here. We're going to get some cheeky kills. He's going to be walled off in uh, he Lance, is walled though, which off, is a though. super unorthodox wall. You don't see that too often. No. But there's Johnny. Great crosshair placement's going to find. Sage player. It's a 3v3, though, as Clue State trades one back. Double blind coming out. Oh, nice Sova dart. You know exactly where he is. Through the box. Chris Ram is going to easily pick that one up. And now a Vandal in the hands of Johnny. And there's another one. 3v1 now. And Chris finds the last kill, his third of the round. And the Eagle's going to now go up 10 5. We've seen some really impressive stuff from Miss. You know, we, we, we've seen a lot from him. Mm -hmm. But it's not going to matter in this scenario. CMCC falling behind. There is an absolute mountain for them to climb now. And mm. Eagles are just topping it off with more and more rock. Uh, I, I think you. I think you have to pull up some crazy plays. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it all started. It all started when CMC was like, "Yeah, you know, we don't want any observers." Kind of cringe, but you know, I get it. I understand. So that was yeah. a little. Eh. And then, and then the uh, question mark teabagging after the three judge kills, and uh, then after that point, the Eagles have only lost one round. After that happened, yeah. and Meech <laughs> with a great <laughs> flick and a fine missed again. I was running though two points away from the res. We could see Miss coming back this round potentially. But a great kill by Meech to start things off here in round 16. Eagles looking to run away with it in two maps and improve to 2-0 and on the season. But it looks like CMCC did uh, take the teleporter, and they're now going to be pushing up through A, through uh, bathroom. Or what is that, showers? Through showers. Oh, yeah, through showers. Showers, bathroom, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> a pretty, pretty super similar call that's there. But it actually looks like Mustangs is going to commit over to the A site as the Astro Util is going to be in use here. Johnny, in short, all by himself to defend it. But Mustangs, you know, we, we, we've seen this before, and I'm sure we will see it again. That nice flow gameplay letting the meat mints or whatever like the word is i don't know what the word is but they're just marinate? playing very very slow 30 seconds left. i think you're looking for marinate marinate <laughs> that's like when you thank cook something you. really slow thank you yeah <laughs> they're marinating in their gameplay they really are Wait, that's that a perfect word to describe cmcc's style here they uh oh. ice you up only 15 seconds they've got to get on site now like they have to go now Seven seconds. They, they won't be able to get spiked yeah, down they're not in time. Be able to get it down. Meech finds another one and dodges the Roomba oh. with the teleport. Oh, it does still t get taken down. <laughs> but they don't get the plant down in time. And it's 11 5 Eagles. You know, Denny, I got to be completely honest with you here. CMCC Mustangs is playing it intensely, intensely slow. You know, they're, mm. they're, they're, not, they're not contesting any part of the map. Even though, yeah, you mm -hmm. are playing slow, play a default. They're not contesting the map, yeah. and they're just they're just waiting. Eagles is smart enough and they're patient enough to not push up and get picked off. They're gonna play their site and they're mm -hmm. gonna play really smart. And I think Mustangs needs to adjust to that. Two rounds mm -hmm. away, Eagles is, is gonna take this series and add another win to make it 2-0 in their overall score. That Mustangs has to do something right now if they want to have a shot at coming back in this season. Yeah, they really have to start the comeback now. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's one thing to play slow and just try to, you know, find information and then make a game plan and then go for it, but it just feels like they're they're not even really looking for information. They're just waiting. They're not they're not really yeah. finding, you know, they're not really getting intel or or, or finding out in, any information about where the what post eagles fighting? are they're just kind of waiting and then just not even giving themselves enough time to come in for the plant but mist finds entry kill on cornflakes this time and things looking pretty good here for cmcc empress gets popped as well Ooh, nice blind each finds one on ashley can't find the second but johnny trades one back and it's a 3v2 3v1 now and mist oh. finds his third kill and just like we said CMCC Mustang possibly starting something. the comeback here. <laughs> CMCC, you know, yeah. They finally showed some of their 
of their teeth that round. You know, we're not seeing a lot of them pushing out, waiting 10 seconds to actually push a sight. But now, you know, I do think there is a correlation between, you know, contesting and winning rounds. And I think Mustangs are starting to pick up on that. Mm. So Eagles, they can't let CMCC regain um, momentum. They got to wrap this game up mm -hmm. right now. Two rounds to go. Eagles, you got this. They, they, they're looking, they're looking to win it right now. Definitely. You do not want to give your opponents any uh, hope in this case. I mean, CMCC does have to play basically perfectly. They can only afford to lose one round. Johnny with an entry kill onto miss. Good start here for the Eagles on round 17. Strammer's just popping the Hunter's Fury, looking for anything you can find. Not going to find anything. Does buy a little bit of time. Meech is still watching this corner. Oh! Johnny with another one. Can't find a third, though, as Cluste shuts him down. But it's a 4v3. In favor of the Eagles. Ooh, Chris, the nice recon dart is going to reveal... Uh, Ashley there, but can't quite find the kill. Meech so patient, still watching this angle. Frosty with a nice kill, though. Eagles, I believe, have the spike. Nice kill by Chris, and the spike is down. 3v1 now. It's all down to Clustan. I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. There's only 13 seconds left. Spike is also placed in left. short as well, and Cluste is in showers. The nade's coming out, but I don't think it's going to be able to do much. And That's there's the final gosh, kill Chris by Chris Rammers. <laughs> Chris, don't scare me like that, brother. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Firing the recon bolt into the air. You know what? I'm going to say it right now. CMCC needs... They, they can't lose. They need six rounds in a row in yep. order to win this. It's going to be such an uphill battle. But mm. we've seen some crazy things in Valorant. Crazy things have happened. And uh, look, we've come in full circle here. <laughs> look at what Frosty has. Oh my goodness <laughs> gracious. Frosty is actually going to be using the Judge with the Viper. You know, I don't think how... CMC is actually going to be opting to push the Viper's spin. How scenario. poetic would it be if Frosty gets the final <laughs> kill here on them <laughs> with the Judge? This is poetry at its finest, everyone. You thought you liked Shakespeare or like... <laughs> Some other poetry. Nah. <laughs> uh, Frosty's gonna Robert Frosty you over here. <laughs> Robert Frosty yeah. over here <laughs> with the judge. Oh, Frosty. <laughs> Frosty might actually peek that off the owl drone. Oh, Mist finds him though, and it's not meant to be. So sad. CMCC pushing up through Hookah here. Orange dropping that utility. Good job stalling for time. Ashley finds another one though. There's oh. one and there's two for Corn. Great spread control with the Phantom as Meech finds another. And it's a 2v2. But Denny, look how both Spike low planted. Meech and mm. Cornflakes is in this scenario. Yeah, both they're of both them, low on You health. know, they have a total of 90 HP. Mm. The, the, the winning this round is going to be super difficult. Yeah, yeah, you have the Astro Wall, but besides that, they don't have much in their bank One yet. I think maybe oh. try to save the. Oh, but Ashley gets them both. They did not think that he was going to be right around the corner. And CMCC lives to fight another round. <laughs> they, they're going to have to win. They're going to have to. They're going to have to fight a lot more rounds in order to take this. In order to take this one over to overtime. Mm -hmm. But look at this here. What are your thoughts on the Eagles' buy? Do you think I? You know what? Personally, I think they just go for a full save here. They, that's exactly Mustangs what they just around, did. And it, it does. Oh, it maybe does not. Like, you know, maybe not. <laughs> I'm kind of. I'm not. I'm not too sure. It looks like Chris is kind of burning through. Yep. Yeah, looks like they're gonna go okay. for a buy and yeah, buy on Meech everyone is except the only Meech. one with the classic. Yeah, trying to close it out right here. Could come back to bite them though. Yeah, you know, they're I not did, able you know, to close it out here. It could happen. I, you know, maybe giving another round over to Mustangs was was what you had to do. Mm. Meech dying first with the headhunter, but look at that. It does look like Mustangs are going to be committing over to the B site, mm -hmm. so Eagles need to run. Cosmic Divide goes down. That's going to help Corn buy some time on this B site. 
But yeah, Mish got going down, not the greatest loss for the Eagles. He, remember, he only had the classic. And didn't have the ult available either. The wall's gonna go down, and I do think yep. Mustangs are gonna want to push right after that goes out. They probably should. You, want to fight you can see the it. orb. Oh, here comes and their the, own the wall. wall as well, yeah. Nice kill by Johnny following that uh, downward trajectory as Kluse was falling out of Hookah. And it's a 4v4. But there's the res. I was just going to say, as running does have it available, and he does pop it. But Chris Rammer's going to get another trade kill right back. To Ashley, good swing by Johnny, but can't quite find it. Frosty trades him back. Another by Korn, and another by Mist. Kills just flying back and forth. Korn reloading. Somehow survives. I need a concealment. Last player standing. And it's a 1v2 now. One fakes the defuse. Fakes it again. Can't quite find oh. it. A valiant effort there from Korn. But it looks like the nah. Eagles are going to be going on a little bit of a save now. Yeah, CMs or must, um, Eagles are going to have to save in this scenario. Even, you know, maybe buying up last round was not the play either. Mm. But the issue is now Eagles are on a save. And CMCC is just regaining momentum. Mm -hmm. If you give a team hope, they could capitalize off that at hope and end up taking it overtime. So Eagles, right after this round, they need to close this out before CMCC brings it back and regains momentum. Because that is such a huge, yep. underrated thing in Valorant and all the video games. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Momentum is is real, definitely. Um CMCC looking like there there was a member spotted over by B. But taking their time, Eagles are on a full save here. Johnny with the judge, Chris Rammers with the ghost. Enemy spotted, B. And then a sheriff I can already, for Frosty. <laughs> I can already hear the Mustang players typing, <laughs> saying something about Johnny's judge. <laughs> here he comes. Breach ult going down. Johnny going to be continually uh, staying quiet here. Trying to rotate around. Underdog going to find one kill. Oh. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and Johnny going to hightail it out of there now. Finds a cheeky kill on the clue stay. I was running against another. Gets two more. And uh, CMCC looks like they've probably got this one in the bag here. Ooh, Frosty with a nice shot, though. Spike plant. Johnny with another. He's this got a Vandal so for himself, winnable, too. Denny. Yeah, suddenly winnable. I spoke too soon. Caster's curse every time. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. Almost almost every caster will experience this experience this maybe a hundred times per series. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Do you think do you think Johnny Can actually Frostfire do it? Here? Can Frostfire do it? Fakes the defuse. Last player standing. Oh, I don't know if they can do it. Nah, he's oh, oh. flanked from both sides. Johnny just had way too much to deal with, mm -hmm. and he was not able to keep his eyes on one thing right there. As two players watched him, went to go for the pinch. But mm -hmm. now, look at this. Eagle's not in the disadvantage anymore. Yep. Look at that. Look at that buy. But they lose this round, it's 12-10. Mm -hmm. Then they have to go on a save. Most likely, it's going to be 12-11. Yeah. Eagles need to wrap it up this round, and they need to say, hey, <laughs> you know what? GG's Mustangs. It was nice knowing y'all, <laughs> but we'll see you next time because they cannot afford to lose this round and lose all hopes of momentum yep missed with empress available though but uh like you said full buys for the eagles it's their round to lose here cmcc characteristically playing slow yet again one was spotted not, over no, by you don't see much character development this series so far <laughs> Maybe the red dots aren't a bug. Maybe they're actually yeah, supposed to be there because that's where it's perfect, players are so spotted. <laughs> but look at this now. You know, Mustangs, I do believe they're going to want to push B site here. 
as one person is actually going to get scanned out. It looks, Ooh, actually, I don't frosty. know. I have no idea what yeah, Mustangs like are, 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 are cracking up, cooking up in their pot right now. Yeah. They're going to be contesting way different parts of the site right now. But with 20 seconds, you know, they, yeah, they've done they, it to they're themselves just again. Forever. <laughs> they've done it to themselves again, did not leave enough time. 12 seconds to go. Ooh. Ten seconds left. There's a kill. I'm calling though. him right now. GG Eagles. They've right now, they, they, they right have now. no time to plan. Born was another one. There's another one for Meech. And that's it. Spike oh, he got it down. Oh, I oh. thought they killed the spike carrier. But Chris oh, gets two more. And that's there it is. That's going to do it. Chris gets the defuse. I I was so turned around that I didn't even know where the spike was that round. They were so spread out. <laughs> An interesting strategy for oh uh, CMCC goodness. on that last round. But the Eagles take it in the end. 13-11 on Breeze, 13-9 on Bind, and they will improve to 2-0 on the season. CMCC will drop to 1-1 on the season. A valiant effort from them, especially on Bind, but Eagles do take it in the end. Johnny Fuego, the MVP for post. Eagles, 286 combat score, 23-16-3 and scoreline. Your thoughts, Nico? Uh, overall, GG's to both teams. Lots and lots of talent on both sides, but Eagles playing so so well we can see miss here mm. 24 and 16 but it's just not enough unfortunately mm. eagles playing so well the amount of teamwork and the amount of versatility that each player has we saw chef johnny fuego play <laughs> sova in breeze and then he goes and plays reina and does each mm. role really well yeah that he really so, showed his versatility so that's a great rare. point for mm -hmm. players and there's just so much versatility talent and potential and i'm just looking forward to see how far the eagles can fly during this season i'm looking forward to it as well uh thank you so much for watching everyone tonight uh nico thank you so much for casting with me um it was <laughs> thank a pleasure you for having me here today and um for everyone on the stream we've got more action for you tomorrow night as our rocket league team will be on stream at 8 p.m tomorrow night so uh make sure you tune in for that they'll be looking to improve to 2-0 on the season as well but until then thank you so much for watching again everyone and i hope you all have a great night